We've dropped into GWR fasteners. Now, Jude, if I said to you screwing the world together, what does that mean? That's our strap line. What do you do then? Uh, we manufacture special fasteners and precision components and also uh, distribute standard fasteners all over the world. You make it sound simple. How many products have you got on your range? Ooh, probably at last count, probably six or 7,000 different products that we sell to our customers. So, and manufacturing majority of those, well, how, many, how many do you reckon you manufacture a year, rough? I won't hold you to it. Oh my goodness, uh, gosh, it's a se definitely several thousand a month, I would say. Different, different products, different customers. So we've got the Phoenix in the background, so a bit of history about the company. Uh, we started in 2009 at the beginning of the recession, uh, from nothing with nothing. Um, my husband uh, lost his well-paid job and I was actually disabled at the time. Uh, thankfully I'm a lot better now. Um, so yeah, we've been going 10 years, uh, basically growing year on year. Uh, we started in our outhouse, then to an oversized garage, uh, then to units that were probably 5,000 square feet. And then this year we moved to bespoke built 10,000 square foot premises. Yes, yeah, an impressive premises. And how many machines have you got now? Uh, we've now got five, yeah. <laughs> we've just had a, a recent one delivered. Okay, and that's why we're here. So the Citizen Miano B&E 51? That's the one, yes. Okay. Um, we actually ordered it at the Mac show in April last year, um, where uh, Edward and Warren sat down with us and we could uh, basically explain to them we wanted a machine. Edward's the joint MD, I understand, but he sat down with you? and He did, he absolutely did. Um, we were there for about four or five days and every day we'd go and see Edward and Warren and chat with them. Um, They're doing good coffee. <laughs> Am I allowed to say they gave us beer as well? <laughs> um, yeah, um, and, and they totally understood us as a company and us as people. They got to know us. We knew that the building of this premises uh, was an unknown quantity. There wasn't an exact date that we were moving in. Um, and we said, can we move the date to the right if required? And that's absolutely what they did. So they totally supported us all the way. Okay, now it seems opportune then to go and have a with Gary, who's, it's his toy really, isn't it? it it is his new toy, to be fair, but to, I love it. I mean, I've nicknamed it Zeus, but that was because um, one of my colleagues said it looked like it had been delivered from the sky, so because it was that big. So, yeah, it's, it's an awesome machine. Brilliant. Jude, thanks very much. We're going to have a chat with Gary. Gary, Zeus here. They delivered it only sort of mid or well, early June. What happened though? They just dropped it off and left you to it? No, they come in, set it all up quite quickly. It was all commissioned pretty quickly. And the following week, we did all the training just took place over a five day period and that went very smoothly. So it's, about, it's not just about having this fantastic machine from Edward Warren through to the applications engineers, the whole process has been fantastic. Well, it's been brilliant from all the guys to uh, uh, contact with us for the initial preparations, to the delivery, to the installation, to the training, everything was fantastic. Now, this is an impressive machine, twin spindle, twin turret? Yep, that's correct and it can do three operations in one between right. the, the, the different setups, so. So, I've, I mean, we can't actually film the part, I'm afraid, because of NDAs, but I've seen in there, so you've got your balance turning, your balance milling, and then two ops at the same time in terms of boring and threading? Yeah, on, on a few components we're doing, we can drill internally while we're roughing outside diameters, and then we can be finishing while we're finish, finishing the internal diameters, and at the same time we can be roughing on yeah. subspindle while we're feeding the next part out. Showing off a bit there, but then you also mentioned cutting on three faces, so you're superimposed, but have you got, it's fairly new, so have you got to that stage yet? Um, not quite to that level yet. Yeah. Uh, some of our parts don't justify that, but we, we will get to it at some point, okay. with a bit more experience. No problem, but that ties in, I mean, thinking all these, you know, the spindles and turrets flying around everywhere, thinking, it, is it gonna be a crash? Uh, that's one of the worries we had when we was thinking about purchasing, but with the wizard software that we've got and we can run through with a hand wheel through the testing process with a new program so we can see some of it will crash before it'll actually happen and that gives you a lot more confidence to test the program out, so that's good as well. So I could play confidence. So you've got a number of, well, really great machines here, so why did you actually go to Citizen Miano? Um, it was the versatility of the, the, the size of the machine. Yeah. Um, the range of tooling for this, so it gives us a good range of components. Uh, the cycle times are substantially lower. Yep. You know, we've got the cycle times down to almost a third of what they were originally. So that's improved massively. Yep. So um, just in terms of the bar size, so it's a B&E 51, so 51 mil bar? Yeah, it goes up to 51 mil. Yep. 
So, and in terms of tooling, in each turret will take 12 driven tools, but then you can double up as well. Yeah, that's right. You can have multi tools, and they can be on the front and the back of it on each tooling station as well. So you can have up to potentially maybe five or six tools on one one station. Five or six per station. Yes. So you have to wipe this away. You're obviously really, really happy with this, this machine. So another thing, fast, rigid, accurate. Yeah, it's all of them things. Very fast. Yeah. Uh, holds tolerance really, really well, yeah. and can't fault it. Now I understand though you've had a couple of problems because of this machine, swarfing in actually, the swarf binning in the actual components themselves. So you're making too many. Yeah, that's that's a problem now. We can't get rid of the swarf and the components off the machine quick enough anymore because it's it's out facing us. Okay, <laughs> so. Before then, and just to give us a feel, before you were a batch of components you are doing maybe over a 24 hour period, that might have been over three days, how long will it take now? We can do that in one eight hour shift now. Right, so like where well, you alluded to earlier, it's brought cycle time down to a third of the previous... Yeah, that's it, we've reduced the cycle times down so much, so where we might have been running overnight on mans, where the machine could stop and we could have potential problems like that, where you think you're getting components and you're not. We, it's do, done in a day shift when we're here and, and we still get overnight running as well. So you've got utmost confidence in it, run, in it running 24-7 as well then? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if we could get rid of the swarf and the parts. Yeah, right. <laughs> so not a bad problem to have though? Not a bad problem to have at all. Okay. Any other things about the machine? Because you clearly love it. Well, Zeus, because you've already named yeah. him. Yeah, it's, it's just really good. Yeah. And we, we managed to set up three complete components in the training week and left it running at yeah. the end of the week as well. So. That's something we haven't achieved before. Fantastic. It's just a shame we can't show the components, but strict NDAs on those, and we yeah, want to get, get you into yeah. trouble. Yeah, it would, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw one final question at you then. Next purchase, will it be a Citizen Miano? Uh, possibly, yes. <laughs> Good chance of it. Keep Warren on his toes. Thank you very much, yeah. Gary. All right, thank you.